This is going to be a quick video on how to make chicken fajitas that are Weight Watchers friendly. I started with bell pepper and I decided to make the video. And so after that was cut up, I just cut up a whole onion by cutting it in half and then slicing it all the way through. Vegetables and Weight Watchers and fruits are zero points. So if you're on the Weight Watcher system, you should already know that the more veggies you have, the better it is because those are all zero points. And they're good to snack on. So I like Weight Watchers because it's helping me to stick to portion control. I'm also going to smash up and chop two cloves of garlic. You want to give it a good smash so that you can easily peel off the skin. And you want to get that off. Weight Watcher has some really good easy recipes and I've found ways to really kind of minimize the point intake on a lot of recipes that I make just about every day. So we're also going to do this one. We're going to put them together and give them a nice rough chop. Not too fine. Rough chop is okay. It'll blend in with the rest of the veggies. And there you have it. It's kind of sticky. And we're going to use just regular chicken breast. It's boneless, it's skinless, and there's six to the package. So I rinse them off, and I'm going to trim away the any excess fat because we don't want any of that excess fat on in our dish. Cooked chicken breast that is boneless and skinless in Weight Watchers is five points for three ounces. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop these up. And I also sped up the video at this point, so you don't have to sit through me chopping up four uh, chicken breasts. Actually, I did use six, but I only chopped up four on the video. <laughs> I joined Weight Watchers um, this second time around, about two weeks ago. I'm already four pounds down, 4.4 uh, to be exact. And um, the reason why I did it was to just change the way that I eat in general. This is not a diet for me. I'm changing the way that I'm eating. I'm using Weight Watchers just to help me with my portion control. Once I train my body on the proper portions to eat, then I'll be okay. But I've changed all the foods that I eat. And weight loss is just a benefit. <laughs> it's a side effect. These are the oils that I'm going to use. Um, cooking spray, canola oil, and coconut oil. The canola oil, give it a hefty spray. It's zero points. So I use that a lot in cooking instead of regular oil. I also use coconut oil. One tablespoon of coconut oil is one point. But here I'm going to use two teaspoons, and that will give me a value of zero points. Wherever I can minimize the points, I do. I still get the same benefit of the coconut oil. And it's not just good for your hair and your skin. It's also good for inside your body as well. So read up on that. Once it's melted, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken. So I added a few pieces of chicken because I realized that I wanted to add, I wanted to uh, kind of cook the garlic first. So I'm going to add the garlic here, move the chicken to the side, and kind of give that garlic a good stir just to release the flavor. And it smells so good at this point with the coconut oil and the garlic. Yummy. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the chicken in. And we're just going to cook the chicken until it's white and there's no pink. That's going to be the first stage of doneness for the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and give it a few twists of the ground black pepper. And I also added cumin to this dish. I didn't show you, but I love ground cumin, and I put it just about on everything. So I did add that too. And then you're just going to stir it around until it turns white. And here's the chicken, all white. No pink in sight. Smelling good. So now we're just going to add the vegetables to the dish. And at this point, I could have added more vegetables. 
um, after they cook down, they cook down a lot. So I really could have added maybe one more bell pepper, maybe a red or a yellow, and one more onion. You want to make sure it's all broken up and then give that a good stir around to kind of incorporate them all. Looking good. So at this point, we're just going to show the fajita mix, the tortillas that I use. I like taco sauce. There's some hot salsa and two cans of refried beans. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fajita mix, just a regular Ortega packet. And it also calls for one third cup of water. So we're going to go ahead and add that also. It gives it a nice kind of sauce with the water, but it's not too watery so that it drips all down your arm when you're trying to eat the feet. <laughs> so we have our water added, so we're going to go ahead and stir that around and get that all incorporated. And I had to ditch that fork and go for a spatula just so I can get a better handle on things and get it all stirred around. Looking good and smelling good at this point. The tortillas that I'm using are whole wheat tortillas. And one tortilla is three points in the Weight Watchers point system. What I did was I used three ounces of the chicken, but when I measured it out, I used three ounces. However, I divided it in half. So we're just going to cover the chicken and let that simmer for about five minutes on medium heat. And here is the final product. Yummy. But I found this can of olives <laughs> in my pantry, so I decided to I add those two. More veggies means less points because you're going to get full more on veggies than you are on the meat. So I like to make sure that I get a healthy portion so that I stay full and I'm not running back in the kitchen to snack. But if I do snack, I try to snack on zero point things like fruits. <laughs> so it's all done here. So you can build your fajita at this point. Add the beans or sour cream and cheese, which I'm going to show you. Here are the refried beans, just two cans of beans with a little water to kind of make them a little bit more pliable. I don't like them too dry or too thick, so I like them to be just to that kind of consistency. I love refried beans. I can eat these by themselves. And I use Colby and Monterey Jack cheese because that's what I had in my fridge and some fat-free sour cream. And you put everything together and here is the final product. I made two fajitas with a total point value of seven points per serving. And I'm thankful that you're watching this video. I want you to stay tuned for more friendly Weight Watchers 